Um, I know it's Saturday. Um, hi, I'm actually dialing in from Malaysia. Currently in Malaysia on holiday, supposedly. But um, I thought I'll do a Facebook Live interview um, with a very, very close friend, an old, um, old friend um, that I've known from school days, actually. So I think it's probably close to 20 years. Um, and I really, really like what she does, which is handmade cards, but very special um, handmade, handcrafted and very unique bespoke cards which I think you will like as well. So I'm just waiting for a sound check um, just to make sure we have sound before I introduce Elise. Um, so just hang on a minute, I'm checking my technician in the back. Have we got sound? Yay! Alright, we're ready to go. Okay, so. Hi Elise! Hello! <laughs> So say hello. Um, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Where did you grow up and what did you do before in your, I like to say, previous life and current life? Uh, okay, I'm gonna freeze. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> that is, um, well, I grew up in Subanjaya. Mm -hmm. and, um, in Malaysia. Malaysia. Yeah. yeah. And I'm um, currently here as well. Although uh, previously um, I studied in the UK, I worked in the UK for And you studied years. chemical engineering? Yep. At Imperial College? Yep. Because your parents recommended you do that? Not really, just oh. because um, we don't know any better at the time. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and then what, what did you go on to do after you graduated? I actually went into a chemical company but doing new business development. Oh, okay. Yes, but after that I switched to advertising. Ah, all right. So, and, and then you were doing advertising, and then tell us how you then started up your handmade card um, business. Right. So I was in uh, advertising for quite a few years, and then um, I got I got a bit tired, tired of the industry of the work, and then I quit. And then when I quit, I had uh, almost a year off work, and so I was. Um, Exploring my hobbies basically, so I started I started making cards, reading books, and all that. So but that's why, how why cards? Why why did you do cards and not anything else? Well, I've always been uh, interested in uh, paper craft. Ah, right. okay. so um, I actually don't quite remember how I got into cards, but basically, yeah. So and then I started making more of it. I buy more equipment, started making more, and then people. Friends started to ask me to, you know, why don't you sell your excess cards? Yeah, yeah. Yep. So now I put my cards on consignment basis. With uh, at a, flor a couple of florists. Yes, a couple of florists. And and, and then um, any anybody else? Do you put your cards anywhere else? Where else can people find you? Um, actually, because I still work as a copywriter, mm -hmm. so. So I don't really have that much time to ma mass produce cards. So at the moment, and we don't want mass production. <laughs> <laughs> so at the moment, it's just at the florist. Or if you want to order from me personally, mm -hmm. then I do. I would do do direct. Oh, that's fantastic! Yes. So, so people, if you like, I'm sure you will like her cards. Um, so you have to um, Facebook message or PM um, Elise um, and tell her that you really like her cards and want to see more of her cards. And now we're going to see some of your cards. Okay, can you show us some of your cards? I'm just gonna... Right, so tell us about the story behind the cards or, or like, you know, how did you come up with... Oh, I like this one. What's this? Happiness. May your happiness multiply as each candle is added to your cake. Oh my god, that's so cool. That's such an alternative way of saying happy birthday. It's a birthday card, right? Yes. So how, how do you come up with such a quote? What? Actually, these are these are like um, the stamps that you that you get. Ah. They are birthday birthday messages. So you just see what fits. You see, I mean, I have this this. Uh, it's quite a funny sentiment. I mean, what goes up never comes down. Your yes. face. So it fits well with oh, like a hot air balloon. Yeah, that's so cool. Yes, you're right. I drew. I love this card. This is so cool. And I love I love how it's so cheery and the use of colors plus textures. It's got textures, and I love cards that have textures and pop up. Cool. All right, show us more. Show us more. Oh, that's so pretty. This is more simple. Huh? So you are always thought of in a very special way. Today, most of all. Oh, I love this. And this is often like what I actually want to tell my friends. When it's their birthday, and I don't want a, just a card that says happy birthday, because I want to tell them that I'm thinking about them. 
I love, what is this like? Is this embossing that you have? Stamping. Oh, stamping. stamping. Oh, what is stamping? Sorry, I, I don't know much of crafting. <laughs> like, I'm really... Well, basically, you can either have a, you have a rubber stamp or acrylics. And then, um, but you put ink on it and then the colored ink and then you just stamp on it. Whereas these, these are um, the raised parts. These are called dry embossing. Oh, dry yeah. embossing. So basically, you use a powder and then you use heat. The heat melts the powder so it raises erases the Oh, the and then it creates this wonderful texture that you can touch which I really love. Mm. Ah, cool. Okay, what else? What else do you have here? Oh, that's just a simple card that says yes. love. Love. Yeah. I love it. Love. Just love. It's so simple. Love. Mm. It can be used for any occasion. And then these are like die die cutting. So you have a die cutting. Okay. You have a you have dies of a different shapes and all that. So you die you can you can die die cut to certain shapes. And, and what's that? Is that like cross stitching or it's just a stamp. It's a stamp that is in that style. And then I did dry embossing on it. Wow. So to make it like more 3D. That is so fascinating. How long does it take you to make a card like that? Um, like this one, uh, this might take uh, an hour. One hour to make one card. That is amazing. The amount of love and care that goes into the card. Oh my God, wow. It, it might be more than that sometimes. Wow. <laughs> okay, all right, so quickly, we're just slightly running, um, we're running slightly out of time. So I'm just, um, I love this one too. Oh, that's with felt, isn't it? Yes, that's yeah. a sticker. Oh, okay, that's a sticker. So this is a die cut as well. This is just a normal stamping with a bit of dry embossing. Yep. yep. This is similar to the colorful one. Over. Yep. This is the cut. Um, how much is um, each card, uh, each card on average? Right, uh, in Malaysia, I'm selling it like uh, ranging from uh, 990 ringgit to 1590. That's a freaking bargain! That's like two, three US dollars for a card that is handmade with love for an hour. <laughs> oh my god guys you really have to look her up um, and and do you do bespoke orders can people order a card for an occasion yes uh, I do but it's limited by the, the messages and the stuff of that course. I have yes. yeah of course that's understandable cool well um, yeah so this is it uh, I want to keep this always short and sweet so we like to say um, one message if you could give to someone out there what would you say uh -oh. <laughs> Just anything about life or what do you think is important to live the life you love? What is important to do? Well, I think um, a lot of people now probably view work to place too much importance on work. And I feel that at the end of the day, uh, when you're sick, when you're old or anything that happens to you, your work is not the one that will be there for you. Mm -hmm. It's the people you love, mm -hmm. you know, the things that are more important in life than work. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so that's something that um, I realized that uh, and I, that's why I kind of took a detour on the career and um, place more importance on, you know, people that I care about and yeah. also what I love to do. I love that. I think that's beautiful. And, 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 and obviously, and I love sending cards just for to say hello, just to say I love you, I'm thinking about you for no absolute occasion. So I think that's when, you know, it really makes a difference as well. Hi Siva, we're about to sign off. You have to check out her cards and her story. Um, yeah, so, so um, we're just signing off now. Thank you very much for joining. We're calling, uh, well, this is Facebook Live from Malaysia. Bye.